and we are checking out this weekend weather and don't forget we're falling back this weekend. Oh, and there's so much to cover as we fall back. A lot of people are just like, yay, extra hour of sleep. But it does impact your life in several different ways, including the weather. So right now it's dark, and that's what leaves us so cold for several hours in the morning is we've lost all of yesterday's daylight, right? The warmth that we tried to collect. So we wake up each morning quite chilly. But as we are falling back one hour on Sunday, what does that mean for the daylight hours? Tomorrow, the last day of daylight saving time, that sun doesn't come up until 7.20. It's been so late for the sun to rise and it stays up until about six. Well, after we fall back as of Sunday, that sun will come up on the clocks at 621. It will set before 5 p.m. So rolling our clocks back also means that we're changing our weather pattern a bit. It will be very cold in the mornings, but you'll have more daylight to get the kids out the door to the bus stop, right? Get them safely to school, get you easily on your commute in the morning as well. But each night we're going to have that afternoon high hitting at about 2 33 o'clock and then it quickly starts cooling down. You're getting off of work. The sun's already down. So that means by the time you're getting home and settled in at 530 or 6, it's dark outside. And that gives a lot of people the winter blues. We'll continue to have shorter and shorter days through the winter solstice on December 21st. And then beyond that, those are our coldest months of the year, January into February. So the sunlight hat plays a big factor in our warming for the day. This high pressure is what causes our weather for the day. It's still in control. So yes, some high clouds are coming through, but we're we're gonna have sunshine, high clouds, no rain, a little bit of a breeze, still moderate air quality. Kind of that just regular old fall day here. You see that future cast has a beautiful Pacific storm coming on shore for the weekend, but it stays well to the north. There's another one behind it for early next week. What does that mean for us this far south? I think it's increasing winds on Tuesday. We're gonna have some clouds getting a little bit thicker. We're gonna have a slight chance of showers, but again, the bulk of this moisture is well to the north. The tighter these lines get, the faster the wind is. The more of these colors you see coming down, the more cool air we're able to drag into our region. So as that cold front passes, you see the trough is still in place. We're going to be much cooler by the time we get into Wednesday. But is there rain? Not really. So with all of that said, this is how it looks on the seven day. Mild today, tomorrow, and into Sunday as well as we fall back. Monday, mostly sunny, but that 74 hits at about 2.30 or 3 instead of hitting at about 4. On Tuesday, increasing clouds, breezes. We'll call it a 20% chance of showers and a drop to the 60s. That's just below average. Wednesday, clearing but cooler. High of 65 in Bakersfield. In Tatchby and Fraser Park, low 70s. In Isabella, upper 70s today and tomorrow. And then we're all cooling a little bit early next week. Look at Tuesday with those clouds coming in still about a 10 to 20% chance of rain, but highs in the 50s for the South Mountains, just 63 in Isabella on Tuesday. We'll be right back.